Hey guys, it's me, Maisie here, and today I will be filming another video for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't post last week, and this one is kind of going up a little bit later than I initially posted. Um, but last week I was in Florida, so I did not have, I did not post last week, and that is why I didn't put a video up for you guys. But this week's video will be a date night look, and it is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. And obviously, I know, like... Maybe, like, probably when this video is up, it might not be useful, but maybe, like, for just any kind of date night, or maybe if you don't want to go out tonight because it may be crowded, you might be going out tomorrow night, or just whatever, you can use this makeup look. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right to the video. Okay, so I'm first going to start off with a face. Now, you can add things to this, like, I'm not going to be wearing foundation because I don't need to wear foundation and I already put on concealer this morning so I'm also not going to be wearing concealer but I will be showing you my powder. I use the e.l.f. Flawless Face Powder and I would do a voiceover. I would do a voiceover for this but I kind of just want to, you know, talk and kind of make the editing for this video short so I can get it up quicker. So yeah, I just put that all over my face with just a powder brush. And now I'm going to take a blush brush from Eco Tools and this blush from um, Model Co. and Cosmopolitan. I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. Because you want to look happy. And I am in my bathroom right now because it has better lighting in my bathroom than in my room. Especially since it's kind of dark right now. So, yeah, that's why I'm in my bathroom. Next, I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian. No. Yeah, Amazonian clay bronzer, and this is in Park Avenue Princess. And I'm looking up. The reason I'm looking up is because there's a huge mirror up there. And so that's why I look up. And I'm just putting that right underneath my cheekbones. And then I'm going to go in with a highlighter, and I'm not really doing an intense contour. I'm just kind of making it a little bit darker in that area. Now I'm taking the Stila Highlight in Kitten and putting that on my cheekbones. And I'm using the same brush for my blush, highlight, and bronzer, if you're wondering. Okay, so now we're done with our face, and we're going to move on to our eyes. I'm going to kind of lean in a little bit more here. And I have a bruise right here because I got hit in the face with a hockey stick in gym. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to take the Naked Palette, and I'm going to go in with Half Baked, which is this pretty gold color here. And if you want to, if you're actually like, going to wear this, I'm probably going to take this off after I do this, after I finish this video. I would put an eyeshadow primer on so that it makes, so that it lasts all night. And we are going to be doing a bold lip, so we don't want to go too bold with our eyeshadow. But we still want to make sure we have a nice eyeshadow look. So once that's all over our eyelid, we are going to take a blending brush. And by the way, basically, if I tell you otherwise, all of the brushes I'm using are from Eco Tools. And I'm going in with Naked because if I get too much of Buck, which is a darker color, then it gets way too intense. And if you wanted to, you could make the eyeshadow look a little bit darker and then go with a lighter lip. But you don't want to go too bold with the eyes and then also go bold with the lips. And because then it will kind of, you know, clash. But now I'm going to go in with Buck and I'm just going to put that on my outer V. So kind of right here. Just like that. I'm going to do that with both eyes. Don't worry, we're going to blend it in. Then I'm going to take the same brush and blend that into my crease, but kind of try to stay on the outer part, outer part of my eye. 
And that will kind of give a little bit of dimension to our eyes as well, so that we kind of have a little bit of a darker look, but not too dark. Now we're done, well, no, we're not done with the eyeshadow I like. Um, I'm going to take an angled, an angled brush, and I'm going to take Virgin, which is this light shimmery color, and I'm going to put that on my inner corner of my eyes, just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. And I'm also going to put that on my brow bone. Okay, now we're done with eyeshadow, and we're going to go in with eyeliner. Now, we are we are going to do a little bit of a more intense, if you want to say. We're just going to do a winged eyeliner, and on one eye, I'm going to show you with this um, e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner, and then on my other eye, I'm going to use this Ico Fat liquid eyeliner in black and this is like a marker and this one has like a brush to it so i'm going to show you the different um eyeliners i'm gonna kind of i'm sorry i'm gonna be looking up for this and this probably isn't gonna look that great But we're just going to do kind of like a wing. Okay. Well, that is my wing for now. And that was with the liquid eyeliner. And as you can see, that kind of went pretty quickly. It could probably look way better if you took your time a little bit more. But I'm kind of going to try to go a little bit quicker so this video isn't 20 minutes long and now I'm going to use this like marker kind of thing and this marker is great if you're new with eyeliner or maybe you're not that great at it like me Okay, so those are my two eyeliners. Okay, so this is the finished eyeliner. This is with the marker, and this is with the liquid, like, brush kind of thing, if you want to call it. Um, I just thought I would show you those two different ways, and you can kind of decide which one looks better for you if you maybe want to buy a new eyeliner. Now we're going to move on to mascara, and then we will be finished with the eyes. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes, and you want to make sure you don't ruin your eyeliner when you're doing this. Okay, now I'm going to take the Their Real Mascara, and I'm going to put that on. I'm going to put a lot on, and then I'm also going to use this Clinique High Impact Mascara. So now we are finished with the eye look. I'll do a little close up here. As you can see, it's very subtle eyeshadow, and then we kind of went a little bit more bold with the eyeliner, which will go great with our lip color that we're going to do later. But now we're going to move on to the eyebrows. And I'm using this Pixie by Petra little eyebrow kind of thing. And I'm going to be mixing the both of the eyebrow colors together. Because, like, my, the hair on my eyebrows are a little bit dark, but they look light. My eyebrows look really light because they're very sparse. So, if I do the actual color, then they look way too bold. But then if I do too light, then you can barely even tell, you know? And now we're going to go in with a toothbrush. And this is a clean toothbrush. I only use this one for, like, beauty things. And... I think using a toothbrush is a great spoolie because I think it's way more soft 
on your skin because like normally like you're touching your skin because you're also touching your eyebrow and I think spoolies are like really rough on your skin and they kind of hurt so that's why I don't use spoolies. So now we're done with our whole eyes we're going to move on to the lips and I'm using this Milani lipstick in red label and it's a super red lip color. I normally use this for dance but then I got a new one so. And if you're going to be wearing this for a while, then I recommend putting a lip balm on before because red lipstick has a lot of like dye in it so it really dries out your lips. And we're done with that. And if you want to prevent getting lipstick on your teeth, what you can do is you can take your finger and stick it in your mouth and then pull it through and it will get all the excess lipstick from your lips off so that it doesn't get on your teeth. This next part is optional, but I like to do this sometimes. If you maybe have small lips or you just want them to look a little bit bigger, what you can do is take a shimmery eyeshadow or a shimmery lip gloss and you can take it on a brush. I just use my finger. And you dab it in the middle. Oh, you can't really tell. Okay. Well, you kind of dab it just in the middle and on your cupid's bow, and that will kind of give the illusion that your lips are bigger. It kind of helps a little bit, but it's still, you know, just that little bit that helps. So yeah, this is our finished makeup look, your finished date night look. And I think winged eyeliner and red lipstick look really good together, but you might disagree. I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more videos like this. I'm sorry if this was a little bit long. I kind of, it would have been shorter if I did it voiceover, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. So yeah, that's why it was a little bit longer. But I really hope you guys liked it. Yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more makeup tutorials. Also, subscribe down below with that big red button so that I can get 70 subscribers. And comment down below video ideas. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.